Welcome! In this first video, you will learn the basics about value stream mapping. At the end of this video, you will know what a value stream and a value stream map is, why you use a value stream map and when you should use a value stream map. In another video, we will go through a value stream map in more detail and discuss the symbols that are used and the steps to create this value stream map. To know what a value stream map is, you first need to know what a value stream is. And a value stream is the series of activities that takes a product or service from the supplier to the customer. This both applies to physical products and administrative processes. A value stream map is a tool and with this tool you can visualize this stream of activities. Here you see an example of a value stream map. The example shows the current state of a metal processing plant. In another video, we will go through this example in more detail and discuss the different symbols that are used. For now, we can see that the map gives a graphic representation of the information flow, the thin arrows, the material flow, these are the thick arrows, and the value and non-value at a time. This, in turn, helps to understand and improve the shop floor organization. So, it clearly visualizes process steps, process characteristics and lead time. The tool is especially useful for improving the shop floor organization and manufacturing and processes with minimal customer interaction. However, this is also one of the restrictions of the VSM tool, because if there is any customer interaction, this cannot be made visible easily. In addition, not all transfers between process steps can be made visible and also decision moments are not clear. So, a value stream map is a useful tool. However, it will not solve all your organizational problems. For example, processes without a highly linear information and material flow usually do not benefit from drawing a value stream map. This also applies for non-repetitive processes. It may be difficult to create a VSM for a job shop. The flow of products through that specific system are just too variable. So therefore, to use a VSM, there has to be the potential for some consistency in flow. So, the main reason of value stream mapping is to improve the company processes and activities. So before you even start with any mapping tool, you already describe the main organizational problem and goal, and you decided that value stream mapping helps you to solve the problem. Thereafter, the first step is to understand the current situation of the organization. What activities belong to the overall process? Which bottlenecks do you see in the process and which one affects your main problem? To give an answer to these questions, you have to focus on the flow and the value of the entire stream. With a VSM, you see obstacles and opportunities to improve the process flow. One of the benefits of VSM is that you map the entire flow and not a single element of the process. This helps to reduce or even eliminate sub-optimization. Furthermore, VSM is a collaborative tool which is understandable for everybody and this helps you to focus where it counts. At last, you could also use a VSM to design, describe and eventually communicate the new desired situation. This is the target condition or future state. So, this video explains the basics of value stream mapping. VSM is a collaborative tool to visualize the stream of activities from supplier to customer to see obstacles and opportunities to improve the process flow. VSM is a useful tool, but not a tool which can solve all possible problems. Therefore, first determine what the main problem is that needs to be solved. Then, determine when you think you need a VSM 
and consider alternatives of value stream mapping that may be more beneficial to your particular problem. See, for example, also the other videos about mapping tools, such as the one about service blueprinting and swim lanes. In another video, we will go through a value stream map in more detail. We discuss the steps to create a VSM and the symbols that are used. Thank you.